in came the director of the theater and said, do be good tonight. He said, because the old man's in front. Now, the old man, he's only one person to us in Britain and possibly to you too, and that is Winston Churchill. And I said, what do you mean? He said, he's in front. He's in the, in the front row. And I panicked and I turned the cold tap on in the, uh, the faucet, as you call it, and put my head in the thing to bring myself to my senses. And my hair stood up like this. <laughs> and uh, I may not have been the best Hamlet in the world, but I was the most soaking wet, I can tell you that. <laughs> anyway, I went on to the stage and with my hair, and I was down with grease, and um, I started to play the part. And I heard this dull rumble from the front row of the stalls. I thought, what on earth is that? Well, it was Churchill speaking the lines with me. <laughs> and I could not shake him off. <laughs> I tried going fast, I tried going slow, we did cuts. And every time there was a cut, an explosion occurred. I was always done. He knew, that he, he, knew, he knew he would cut, and he'd have to catch up with you. Oh, yes, he knew the play absolutely backwards. I think he knows about perhaps a dozen of Shakespeare's plays uh, intimately, so I'm told by his secretary. And how did it all end? Then you thought he'd... Well, uh, uh, generally, you can't keep him for more than one act. But um, I looked through the, you know, the spy hole, and he got up from his seat, and I thought, that's it, we've lost him. But indeed, there he was suddenly. He'd come backstage, and he said, my Lord Hamlet, may I use your bathroom? <laughs> He did. He did.